Good night, Dumbledore. Sir Michael Gambon dead at 82 Harry Potter star who played Dumbledore in hit films passes away. Jonathan Rose. Sir Michael Gambon has died aged 82 after a career spanning 60 years. The Irish English star, who famously played Dumbledore in the Harry Potter film franchise, passed away peacefully in hospital, his family said. A statement on behalf of his wife Lady Gambon and son Fergus Gambon, issued by publicist Claire Dobbs, said, We are devastated to announce the loss of Sir Michael Gambon. Beloved husband and father, Michael died peacefully in hospital with his wife Anne and son Fergus at his bedside, following a bout of pneumonia. Michael was 82. We ask that you respect our privacy at this painful time and thank you for your messages of support and love. Born in Dublin, Ireland, in 1940, he first qualified as an engineer and toolmaker before discovering acting. Aged 24, he began his professional career on the stage, featuring in Shakespeare productions like Othello and Richard III. Sir Michael quickly rose to fame thanks to his distinctive booming voice and powerful presence on both stage and screen. But he was best known for playing Hogwarts headmaster Dumbledore in the Harry Potter series between 2004 and 2011, replacing the late Richard Harris. His first appearance in the J.K. Rowling franchise came in The Prisoner of Azkaban before appearing in five more installments. Elsewhere, he starred in Blockbuster's Gosford Park, 2001, Ali G. Indahouse, 2002, Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox, 2009, and The King's Speech, 2010. He also played Philip Marlowe, a pulp thriller writer, in serial drama The Singing Detective. The qualified pilot later appeared in BBC TV hits like Perfect Strangers and Emma. He is also remembered for his hair-raising lap of the Top Gear test track where he went round the last corner on two wheels. The corner was later named, Gambon, in tribute to the infamous actor in the reasonably priced car. Throughout his career he would regularly appear in Shakespeare productions with the National Theatre, delighting audiences up and down the country. The 82-year-old won four BAFTAs for his TV work three Oliver Awards and two Screen Actors Guild Awards. In 1998 he was knighted in the Queen's New Year's Honours for services to drama. Rupert Grint said Sir Michael had been a personal role model for him. Grint, who co-starred as Ron Weasley, wrote on Instagram, So sad to hear about Michael. He brought so much warmth and mischief to every day on set. He captivated me as a kid and became a personal role model of mine for finding the fun and eccentricities in life. Sending all my love to his family, Rupert. Actor James Phelps, who played Fred Weasley in the Harry Potter film series, paid tribute Gambon, describing him as a legend. Very sorry to hear about the passing of Michael Gambon. He was, on and off the camera, a legend, he tweeted. The actor shared a screenshot of text describing, one of the highlights, of his time on set with Sir Michael. The excerpt read, In between setups Michael asked what I was up to that weekend. As it happened my brother and I were reading Peter and the Wolf with the Manchester Halley Orchestra. Phelps said Sir Michael offered to share notes with him and his twin brother, Oliver, who played George Weasley in the films. We spent what should have been his downtime going over my weekend gig. It is a memory that I've always had as one of the highlights of my Harry Potter days. Jeremy Clarkson expressed his condolences, recalling the actor was such a tremendous guest. I'm so sad to hear that Michael Gambon has died, Clarkson tweeted. He was hugely amusing, and such a tremendous guest. We even named a corner after him. Actress Dame Joan Collins has paid tribute calling him a great and wonderful actor. Dame Joan worked with the late Sir Michael in BBC sitcom Mama's Back in 1993 where they played as a married couple. In a post on Facebook, she wrote, So sorry to hear of the death of the wonderful actor Michael Gambon. We played husband and wife in Ruby Wax's pilot called Mama's Back, a great actor and great fun.
Comedian David Baddiel described his theater performance as the best acting I've ever seen. Posting to X, formerly Twitter, Baddiel said. First time I ever went to see any theater with a capital T it was Michael Gambon in Brecht's Life of Galileo at the National in 1980. It's still the best stage acting I've ever seen. RIP. Welsh singer Catherine Jenkins shared a tribute to Sir Michael Gambon who she described as the loveliest of legends. Jenkins said Sir Michael, couldn't have been kinder, calmer and more supportive, during her time on set in the Doctor Who Christmas special A Christmas Carol in 2010. The singer, who portrayed Yvonne. Abigail, okay. shared a photo of herself okay. next to Sir Michael dressed as his character the Kazan. The Jenkins said, my Have dear Kazan, my, my first like. acting role was opposite Sir Michael Gambon in the Doctor Who Welcome Christmas special. Cake, he couldn't have been kinder, calmer and more supportive. Today we have lost the loveliest of legends. Sir Michael Gambon is survived by wife Ann Miller and his three children. The Domestat champion is Victor Krupp! Yeah! Hallucinations are better than the real thing, you know. People can sing in them or dance. I don't mind, I don't mind. If I wanted copy, I'd have rung for it. He thinks he's God Almighty. I thought I told you to be careful. Give me back my...